Welcome back to Plugged In on TV Kojiko. I'm your host, Melanie DeVoe. And in this segment of the show, we're going to learn about cystic fibrosis. And joining me to tell us everything we need to know is Chantel Foreman Meadows, Chapter Fund Development Manager for Cystic Fibrosis Canada. Did I get that right? You got it right. I know they recently changed around some titles and whatnot. Yes, definitely. Let's talk about cystic fibrosis. What exactly is it? Because it's not, it's not one of the more common ailments, is it? No, one in 25 Canadians carry the gene responsible for cystic fibrosis and actually one in 20 French Canadians and so about 4,000 people living with cystic fibrosis in Canada approximately about 55 people in Windsor Essex Chatham Kent are living with the disease is there a particular age where it's usually diagnosed well now in um, most provinces in Canada they're diagnosed at birth through the newborn screening program uh, but that just didn't that didn't start until 2008 in Ontario so we still have people who are being diagnosed later in life um, but now we have the better screening processes which allows for earlier treatments and um, earlier care for those living with cystic fibrosis. So when they screen are they just screening for that particular gene? They're screening for a protein that um, allows them to then identify that they uh, may be carrying cystic fibrosis and then they do some more um, testing. Well if they only started this in 2008 is it too early to say then whether an earlier diagnosis like this is going to actually improve treatment? No, all of our research states that once um, they've been um, identified as living with cystic fibrosis, that earlier treatment is so, so important because then there isn't damage done to their body while the doctors are trying to find out what is actually going on. Now, if I were to simplify cystic fibrosis, I would say it makes it very difficult to breathe. Yes. And that's it in sort of the most simplistic terms without getting too technical. Neither one of us is a doctor. Can you tell us how it affects people? Yeah, so it affects the lungs and the digestive system mainly. And so they say it's kind of like breathing through a straw. We have a campaign that's similar to that. And so what happens is the body creates a stick, thicky mucus, and it fills up the lungs as well as blocks all the ducts in the digestive system making it difficult for the person to breathe as well as digest the food that you and I would eat. So somebody with cystic fibrosis has to intake three times the caloric intake than a normal person their age as well as taking digestive enzymes each and every time they eat. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. uh, what other treatments are there? I know when it gets very severe, isn't there something that um, sort of pounds the chest a little bit to get the mucus going? Yeah, so as soon as they're diagnosed, um, the doctors put them on a an amazing care plan and so they see um, doctors, a nurse, a, um, a respiratory therapist, a physiotherapist and a dietitian at the hospital every six weeks and so they go through the physiotherapy where they'll pat on their, their chest, on their back and all of their lobes. There's also other um, techniques that they can use a vest, it's similar to like a life preserver and it fills up with air and it shakes them. Oh. Yes, unfortunately it's not covered um, and does cost families uh, anywhere between ten and fifteen thousand oh dollars. Um, but people in the area who have that feel that it's very, very important for their care. And so they'll do exercise as well and try to keep as healthy as they can. Breathing treatments. There's inhala inhalation masks that they they can take to help ensure that their lungs stay clear and and healthy. There is no cure for this, though, is there? There is no cure. Do you think there might be someday, considering research you may have heard about? Yeah, we're getting closer and closer to more of an effective control for cystic fibrosis. There's a new drug um, that was just actually approved by the Ontario government, it's called Kaladico, and it affects 4% of those living with cystic fibrosis, and it's basically um, turning off the defect in the cell for cystic fibrosis. Um, and so that's just been covered by the Ontario government and a few other provinces across Canada. Uh, that drug is $350,000 a year. Once the person stops taking it, the symptoms start back. Who can afford that? No one can, but no. luckily our government has been able to say, this is an important drug and we're gonna cover it. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's great. What What is the average life expectancy for someone who is diagnosed? Well, in Canada, we have one of the longest in the world at 49.7. Does that have to do with um, external factors? Does the environment have anything to do with it? Or? Our, our research doesn't show that, but what our research shows is it's the care, the quality care that our organization and our medical system is able to provide for those living with cystic fibrosis. And so people are living longer, ha healthier, happier, lives because of our research and our treatment programs that we're able to provide here in Canada.
Is there any financial aid available at all to families who maybe can't afford to get one of the vests or, or need extra treatment? Um, luckily in our communities a lot of the service clubs help out with some of the extra costs. Our organization, our primary focus is on funding research and clinical care for those living with cystic fibrosis. So we help fund researchers across Canada. Um, in Windsor, we don't have a researcher, but in London, uh, we have two uh, major researchers that uh, receive our funding, but we also um, provide clinical care. So at Windsor Regional Hospital, we're the only clinic in North America that operates on the weekends. Oh. So children, because it's under uh, age, age, age 18, mm -hmm. they don't have to miss school. Oh, great. And parents don't ha typically have to miss work. And so that's been vital to the families. And as the families move on to the adult clinic in London, um, they, they definitely miss um, you know that care on the weekends. Windsor rules again, I love yes. it. Yes. Do you have any events coming up? Uh, any fundraisers for the Cystic Fibrosis Canada? Yes, we have lots of fundraising. Mm -hmm. And that's how we, we provide the best care in the world yeah. for our patients. And so we have the superhero takeover. Um, so it's a superhero event with uh, dinner, activities, superhero training, bouncy castles, all kinds of fun things. Please tell me I can do that. Please tell me, Chantel. I, I, I heard you're involved, Melanie. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's going to be a great event. It's October 19th at the Chicharo Club. You can call our office to get tickets. They are $50 a person. But that includes the dinner, the activities, dancing, superhero training, all of that fun stuff. And so it kind of started because we do an event um, in January called the Princess Ball. And last year we sold out in six days. Uh, this year our ticket launch will happen November 1st at 10 o'clock at Devonshire Mall. First come, first serve. And it's all about being a princess that day. We have um, princesses from all over the world greeting our, uh, our friends who come out. Uh, Snapped Windsor takes photos. We have crafts and activities and a buffet lunch for the kids and it's all about the kids that day face painting glitter tattoos hairstylists manicurists mommy massage <laughs> and dancing and it's just an, an amazing event uh, that helps support cystic fibrosis and those tickets are also fifty dollars but they go on sale november 1st and the event will sell out grab them up quickly so what's the web address again so people can get all of the information you can need. go to cysticfibrosis.ca wonderful Chantel it has been great talking with you and um, congratulations on your uh, new family member that's going to be thank coming. you <laughs> it's our newest volunteer that's what we tell everyone your newest volunteer yeah. <laughs> wonderful thank you very much thank you